<laughs> what is up world? Travis Young here and today I know I usually send out something I've been thinking about some principle of some sort but today I need to share something with you and it's I've met so many amazing and interesting people lately and I think what the world is waiting for is you to become yourself. Let me explain it like this. There are so many people in the world that look at the celebrities, they look at the sports figures, they look at all these people and they go, I want to be like that person. Do you know who I want to be like? I want to be like me. I want to be the best version of myself that I can give the world. And here's one thing. If you keep looking around, if you keep looking at somebody else, you are, you are keeping the world from having the true potential of you. You are restricting the world of what you could give the world. There was this quote the other day that I heard and it was the idea of if you are lying in your bed, dying sometime, and your the thoughts and the ideas and the dreams that you all had in yourself surrounded you and said, where were you? Where was your courage to go and do? We came to you and only you could have shown us to the world, but instead you chose to live a life of fear. You chose to live a life where you were ruled by what other people thought of you. I had this experience the other day. I was in Edmonton um, and there was a man dancing up at the front. Um, there was one of those Red Bull like bands with the speakers and the TVs and he was dancing up front. And I was like, man, I love to dance. And I looked around and nobody else was dancing. And I was like, there's no way I'm leaving that guy to actually dance up front by himself. There's no way. So I went out and like looked at him and, did, and then we just kind of like started like dancing, shuffling. But it was cool because in that moment I knew I was doing what I wanted to do. I was doing who I am. And I looked at him and I was like, man, this is so legit and so cool because we're the only ones right now. Like I get it. There's people that don't like to dance and they're off doing their thing. That's fine. But there's people I know who were there who wanted to dance but they couldn't because they couldn't get over the fear of what other people thought of them and this is what I am telling you today you need to understand that there is something inside of you that is waiting to be unleashed there is something that the world is wanting to see that the world longs to see and only you are the one who has the potential to show the world what you have but there is one thing that you are gonna have to do in order to show the world what you have and it is you are going to have to overcome the fear of what other people think of you you are gonna have to overcome the fear of how other people see you. I was talking to some people after I was like, man, you guys should have came and danced with me. And they were like, yeah, we wanted to. And I was like, hey, check this out. You need to hear this. You need to understand this. Everybody right now in this giant circle was looking at us and judging us and being like, man, those guys are crazy. But I know deep down inside there was people there who were wishing that they would have had the courage to overcome their fear and actually go do what they felt like they were supposed to do. And that is the thing. If you do not do that, if you do not overcome your fear, you will continue to live your life in a way where you wish you were doing something but you're standing on the sidelines watching I am telling you the world is waiting for you to get off of the sidelines to stand up out of your chair to walk onto that field and give the performance of a lifetime the world is waiting for you to step into your calling and your destiny I don't know if you guys have a faith like I do but I believe God created everyone for greatness God does not make junk you are not junk you are not worthless you are worth so much more than anything else you could ever imagine and I am telling you right now there's people who are going to hate what you are doing. There's people who are going to say it cannot be done. There's people who are going to tell you that you were not created for anything. But I am telling you right now that that is a lie. And today, I want to encourage you to know that you are worth so much. You have so much value to add. You have so many things that you can do with your life. If you only choose to believe in yourself, if you only choose to believe in your heart, what God has put inside of your heart, then you will go out and you will do amazing, incredible things. And I'm sick and tired of watching people who I love, people who I value to come to fear because they're so worried about what other people will think of them. And so I told these people in this circle, I was like, you need to understand this. Those people are all thinking we are crazy, but they're so wrapped up in their minds. I want to tell you something. You, you need to understand this. People are way more concerned about what other people think about them. And so if I am so concerned about what I think other people are thinking about me, then the last thing other people are thinking about is me because they're so wrapped up inside their minds. And so I need you guys to understand this. I want you guys to understand this because in order for you to actually go out and make a difference, you are going to have to be you. You're going to have to be yourself, not somebody else. And you are going to have to overcome your fear. And when you do that, everything is going to unlock and you are going to be able to. And so like, I realized that this is all inspirational stuff. And if you're struggling and, and want to have a greater understanding of how you can unlock that potential, feel free. 
to give me a call or message me or something and be like, I'm struggling in this or I want to do this, but I don't know how. I want to help people on the journey to self-discovery, to figuring out how they can actually unlock the potential that is inside of them and help them go and achieve the dreams that they have for their lives and to stop living based upon limitation and scarcity because that is not who you were called to be. You were called to be a person of integrity, of character, of grace, of strength, of honor, of courage, of compassion, of integrity. And you were called to actually go to this world to add value to people, to add value to communities, to go out and to make a difference. And if I can help anybody in that way, I am going to do that. And so I want you to be inspired today, but motivated to know that you have a voice, that you are here for a reason, that you were created to make a difference, to add value to people, and to actually live the life that you want. Live this incredible life of abundance where you can be somebody incredible and actually go out and make a difference. And so... Get over your fear. If you don't know how to do that, maybe I can help you, maybe I can't, I don't know. But I want you guys to know that there is a life worth living, that there is a reason you are here on this earth, and that together we can actually go make a difference if we choose to have a little bit of courage and overcome our fear. So I love you guys. Let's go out and make a difference, change this world, and actually be who we are created to be. Stop pretending, stop looking to other people, and be ourselves. The world is longing and waiting for you to be the best version of yourself. And that only comes if you have courage and overcome your fear. So, peace out.